my name is James Meller, manager of Rocket Cider. Apples always start in, in the autumn. So we've got varieties that start mid-September and they go all the way to mid-November. The harder apples, the cider apples, tend to come later. There's three types of apples. You've got the culinary kind, mostly Bramley. You've got the dessert kind, which you generally eat. Um, cider apples tend to be hard apples, high in tannin. Mostly you can only really do cider with those. So we blend our, all our apples. The commonly grown ones are Dabonet, Michelin, Tom Putt, Helen, Amanda, Three Counties, Harry Masters. They're all classic cider varieties which are high in tannin. And then we blend them also with dessert apples um, and culinary apples. So we have a, a cross section of apples um, for our cider. But it is important to have cider apples. I think cider apples on their own can be quite a challenging taste. Um, but if you're, if you're coming up with a, a nice blend, you can make easy drinking cider with a good balance and of uh, tannin as well. Uh, cider is basically very easy to make. Uh, the process is um, fermenting apple juice. You take your apples, put them in a bucket, you can smash them up using untreated timber, quite simply. And once they're all mashed to a pulp, then you've got to extract the juice. If you take a plastic container of some kind, a mesh cloth, and uh, you need to apply some weight to, to, to get the juice out. So put it some holes in the bottom of the box and then use something like um, a car jack um, to apply the pressure to the apples and you'll see the juice gushing. It's quite amazing from the bottom of the box. Put them in some, some clean containers, preferably sterile with some Milton or sodium metabisulfite. And then you can add your own yeast. And then if you leave it for one to two weeks with the yeast in, in a, in a moderately warm place, the fermentation will take place. You've got to make sure, obviously, you can let the air escape from the container. After that period, two weeks, when it stops bubbling, you'll have a, a fermented product of around, depending on the sweetness of your apples, around 6% alcohol. So at this point, you could either bottle it as it is, if it's a bit sharp, you can add a bit of uh, calcium carbonate or you can add it to a bottle and possibly add a little bit of sugar. Now, the bottles you put it in now, it's important that it can take a high amount of pressure. So either a flip top or a Coke bottle of the, that sort of thing. You can add a, maybe half a spoon of sugar to 75 CL and, and then you close it tight and then this will build up pressure of its own so you'll have a naturally carbonated drink. The yeast will drop to the bottom and you'll be able to pour it off the, off the top. Um, then all you have to do really is uh, get a few friends together and uh, enjoy your cider in the summer. Guernsey's good for cider because um, we have plenty of hours of sunshine which is good for growing apples. We've resurrected um, this local business if you like. Last cider makers before us stopped in the um, early 60s uh, and Guernsey has a long history of making cider since the 16th century so there must have been something about the island which was special.